I just going to briefly introduce this strange instrument for those who haven't met it already. I have been to play a couple of times, but you don't know it. It is a bass viol, B-I-O-L, or a viola da gamba, which is the Italian term. And basically, if you go back to about 1500, B-I-O-L was the root that meant bow string instrument. And the family of viola da gamba, the ones that rest on your gambets, on your legs, and the viola da braccio is the one that goes on your arm. Although the cello obviously is not. Anymore. Although there's a version of the cello that does. So, yeah. So this was very popular for sophisticated music, successively in different parts of Europe, and it was actually very linked to the persecution of the Jewish people. Every time they'd get kicked out of one place, they would take all this wonderful tradition and musical ferment and new ideas someplace else, and then that would become the thing. And then after a while, the violin family sort of began to migrate in from being street music and sort of rough stuff to began to say, oh, we could play this nicely too. And then because it's louder, projects more, it long went along with this whole evolution of things where music came out of either the church or the inner, inner courtyards of the palace out to larger audiences. And that was sort of how in each successive area the violin became more important. You know? So music changed as the instrumentation changed. And so this was very popular in Italy. And this is what I'm actually going to play now is a retrocar, meaning a sort of a free form as if it were improvised, but it isn't, by Diego Ortiz, who was one of the people who went to Spain with this instrument and went to Italy. So think the Medici, Isabella d'Asti, and all that. And then they began to create consorts. So I have actually, this is the bass model, and there are also trebles. It's sort of like a violin, but sitting on your legs. And tenors, altos as well, but mostly, mostly treble, tenor, then the basses, and then there's double basses too. Mm -hmm. you know, the violones, they call it. Can you say anything about the head carving on there? Yeah, I have a nice one, so it has a, a carving. Mm -hmm. This is just an individual carving. It's not any, any particular, but to me it's sort of like Neptune. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A lot of times you'll see um, a head with a blindfold, it's traditional. And for some reason, sticking out the tongue, the animal has the tongue sticking out, it's quite traditional. I think that might be why he had this guy be so involved. His mother, when I take him to the school, then I show them that the guy sticking out his tongue is one of us. So, from Mr. Ortiz. Okay. They've got strings, so they do often untune, but today there's no 